What's up, y'all? <laughs> 2020 is over. <laughs> so I've got some tea today. Usually if you know me, I've been, I drink coffee, but I was just feeling that cinnamon tea vibe. And today we're gonna talk makeup, my favorite things, the things truly that I use the most this year. So if you're new here, I guess I should start at the beginning. My name is Jessica. If you stumbled upon my video, welcome in. I talk about a lot of makeup and beauty and skincare on my channel, but I also talk about lifestyle stuff. We vlog, we do cooking and cleaning videos. I always have a clump of hair that loves to just curl out and I told it, it needed to cooperate today. <laughs> so I've been doing these end of the year favorite videos. I call them the Jammy Awards for many years now. The reason I call them the Jammy Awards is simply because my original screen name on YouTube was my old initials, which was J-A-M, Jam Beauty 89. And so the Jammy Awards, like the Grammys, it just fits, I think. So I've kept it. We're gonna go through every category of makeup. I'm gonna share with you my favorite. Some of them are ties, some of them I just have one product. So instead of picking both a drugstore and a high-end favorite, and kind of forcing it and making sure I had one for each side of things. I just decided to pick the ones that I genuinely love the most. So in many cases it's drugstore, in some cases it's high end, in some cases it's tied. So let's dive in. I told you this thing has a mind of its own. I might just let it run free. <laughs> so I'm wearing everything. You're gonna see a lot of this stuff up close in natural lighting so that you can see most of these products and what they look like on my skin without a ton of other stuff on with it, you know? I guess I'll go in order of face. I've got all my things here. So primer was pretty easy for what I wanted to pick this year. It was something I discovered the latter half of this year and it's from Revlon. It's their Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup and Skincare Primer. I've talked about this a lot recently so I'll kind of, I won't dwell on it, but basically it's gonna smooth your skin slightly, it's gonna hydrate your skin slightly, and if you're someone with normal skin like me I really think you'd like it because it's it's not so overly pore filling that it's kind of almost slippery it's the perfect hybrid of hydration and pore filling and smoothing that's why I love it I my skin has never had any weird reactions to it it says it's got good skincare in it vitamin b5 hyaluronic acid so it's something that I don't reach for primer every day but when I have been reaching for it this year it's been this one I'm gonna try to drink this and not mess up my lipstick we'll talk about my lipstick here in a bit I'm gonna have to do this video speed review style and go a little quicker because there's a lot. If you guys have not tried this cinnamon tea, it's from the brand Harney and Sons. I can link it below. It is out of this world. Like if you don't like tea, you will like this. That's all I have to say. Foundation, this one might surprise you. I picked the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Y'all, I love this stuff. I am almost out of it. It's what I'm wearing today. I wanna show you this clip of me wearing just this. I think that it makes my skin look so healthy and youthful and radiant, but not overly dewy. Like, I like to set this with some sort of powder, but I never feel like I have to with my normal-ish, sometimes dry skin. Even if you had super oily skin, I think as long as you set this, it's gonna be beautiful. It's got medium coverage. It just glides over the skin. It blends in quickly. Like, this is probably truly my perfect base product. Like I'm not big into high, high coverage foundations. Oh, there's the sun. That's nice. I was going to like pull the shade down and cover the sun, but it, honestly, it's kind of nice to have a little like actual light in. Anytime the sun comes out in the winter, I'm like, thank you so much. I've missed you. Anyway, I just adore this. I wear the shade Rose Ivory 15. The other favorite I mention every single year, it's the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. However, I almost didn't mention it because I, they're reformulating it, adding more shades, etc. So I don't know what it will be like throughout this next year when they're coming out with that, but I love it. I go through these like crazy, like this is the second one I've opened this year. So it's got, again, similar, it's got medium coverage. The only thing is right now the shade range is awful, which is why you might be better off looking at the L'Oreal. I have to say for concealer, I wanted to mention this one that I cannot find, it's from Shiseido, and I used it the first half of the year and I loved it and then it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it, so I'm going to buy it again because I miss it and that honestly probably would have been in this video as my favorite. It's the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. It does exactly what it says. It's got nice coverage and like literally if an hour or two into your day you see it's creasing, you can literally just tap it and it just blends right back in. It is magic. That's why I'm really missing it. So the other ones I wanted to mention are my correctors that again, I mention all of the time, the Charlotte Tilbury corrector and the Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown has more shades, so you might have better luck there and they're both similar in price. But on days that I'm not trying to go crazy with concealer, I just want something quick and to cover the blueness I have on the inner part of my eye. 
I will use one of these just with my finger, tap it on. And you can see here how it just nicely blends in and it covers that blueness. If you have so much to cover, it's probably not gonna be for you. But if you just have that little bit and you're trying to do something quick, these are what I reach for when I'm just doing five minute makeup and it looks so nice. The main powder I used was for my under eye and it's this one from number seven. It's their Lift and Luminate powder. It's like around 11 or 12 bucks and I just find it to be the most forgiving under eye powder. It's really finely milled and I just feel like it does a good job flattening that area. So let me pop a clip on. On one side, I've used it, the other I haven't. You can see how it flattens that area really well. That's why I love this. Again, I don't use under eye powder every single day, but when I do, this is always the one I reach for. I just think it does such a good job. How are you guys doing? Are you glad that this year is over? I just feel a re really weird, overwhelming sense of relief and hope. However, I was ultra hopeful, like the most hopeful I've ever been at the beginning of 2020. And well, we all saw how that, went, how that went down, so. But I really do feel hopeful and I hope you guys do too. I really didn't have a brow product this year that stood out so much. I've honestly just been using what I've had. So I've been using the Benefit Cabral. I don't think this product is anything revolutionary. I just have it, the shade matches for me, so I've been using it. I don't think you need to buy high-end brow pomades, L'Oreal makes a really good one. But if I am gonna mention a brow product, it's gonna be this Grande Brow Serum. It's how I grew my brows to actually be there and darker. This stuff is magic, it works, it's expensive. I'm telling you, it is worth the price tag. I've already rebought this now twice. So I literally take like three seconds at night when I'm doing my skincare to just brush this through my brows. And I'm telling you, after a couple months of using this, you will see a marked difference. I was so skeptical, I can't believe it. And now I don't feel like I have to put stuff in my brows because my brows are actually there and they're actually darker and thicker. I just thought I had light brows and that was that. No, this solved it. So I always wanna mention it because it is revolutionary. Okay, eyeshadow wise. First off, this M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. I have loved so much this year. It's what I'm wearing today. I just love the way these shimmers catch the light. I just feel like they look so becoming and so soft. I use every shade in this, which I've learned is something I prefer. I like to be able to actually use all of the eyeshadows in a palette versus a large palette where I'm probably only using four or five of them. So I have loved this. I wish it were a little bit more easily available. You can get it on M Cosmetics site, but you can get a very similar effect as my favorite shade in there from this Maybelline Single and Dusty Rose. This has definitely been a favorite of mine. I have used this so much. It is almost identical to that shade. I'm. Did I mention this one in my recent dupes video? I will link it, I just did it like a few weeks ago, a month ago, because I mentioned a ton of amazing drugstore dupes and I think this is one of the ones I mentioned because this shade is like dead on a dupe for that one. Anyway, I love putting this all over the lid, blend it into the crease, that is it. it again, catches the light beautifully, it's just, so gorgeous. By the way, I didn't pick an eye primer favorite. I just really didn't wear it much this year. But my last eyeshadow favorite is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Rose Water. I, this one in particular, I own a couple other ones. Cream and Sugar is really pretty too, but this is the one, man, for me and what I like. It's got these rosy tones to it. If you put this all over the lid with that in the center, this in the crease, and then you can either smoke out the outer corner or use this as a liner. It is the most beautiful eye look. And again, it's so foolproof. It's so easy to do. You don't need to be a makeup artist to pull it off. And I just, I think this is fantastic. And every time I've ever worn this eyeshadow out, like the rare times we're out, People always compliment it. They always ask what I'm wearing. So I think that's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Eyeliner, I have two. Both happen to be from the drugstore. First one is a newer discovery and it's from L'Oreal, their La Liner Signature. Love it, it's pretty black. It's not the blackest liner I've ever used, but I don't really need liner to be like deep, deep, deep black. If it's dark, dark, I'm happy. But this is the best liner I've tried in years at not transferring to the other waterline. So I can put it in my upper waterline, it doesn't transfer down, vice versa. But the other one I can't find mine is from Revlon. It's their 1.5 millimeter eyeliner. If you like a really thin liner like I do, if you just tight line a little bit, 
That one is spectacular. And again, speaking of dupes, it is totally a dupe for the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter liner that I was buying over and over again until I discovered the Revlon one. And it is exactly the same product, just as thin, just as creamy. So highly recommend that one as well. Now, the only other liner I wanted to mention is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Liquid Liner waterproof it's got to be the waterproof one i don't know the other one i've tried that wasn't it just didn't stay in place so the waterproof is definitely the move for this i feel like i can pull off my little tiny wing with this it's nice and black it stays put i just really like it the only thing is i do this is a newer one and i feel like the end gets frayed so easily because of the something about the cap so that's about the only thing i would complain about it but i love it and i even think that the packaging with like the little water crystals on it is really cool. I just really like it. Am I going too fast? I'm sorry if I am. I'll take a breath, Jess. Anyone else feeling like they absolutely need to declutter so much of their house in the new year? Like I just was looking at my closet the other day and I'm like, how? How do I have so much that I can't fit my sweaters where they go? I can't. And I'm like, I have got to just get rid of stuff I haven't worn in the past year or two. All right, for mascara, I've got two. One I fell in love with this year was the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I used one up. This is actually the second one. I bought it in brown and I like it okay, but I definitely prefer this one in black. But this one just really gave me the doe-eyed or like the Bambi-eyed look. And because I really like just doing it on the top and not necessarily the bottom, it really looked nice. So I need to buy this again in black. I loved it. It fanned them out. It volumized. I didn't have any issues with this one with smudging or anything like that. And then my other favorite is from Hourglass. I actually just today opened a new one. So this is their Unlocked locked mascara. This is a tubing mascara. So it's going to kind of coat your lashes. And if you're someone that has issues with flaking or smudging with mascaras, a tubing mascara is the way to go for you because it's not possible. The way that it dries onto it, it just doesn't happen. So I love it. It comes off really easily with warm water and I am such a fan, ultra black. And I just feel like it fans the lashes out. But the biggest thing is it holds my curl and it does not budge all day. Like it is just the best at that. So huge fan. It's expensive. It is, but if you can get it on sale, I absolutely love it. And keep in mind too, you know, any of these high-end brands like Hourglass's website, they have their own sales and promo codes. So if you are really, really wanting it, that might be the way to go to get more money off than waiting on like a Sephora sale. And another thing, what's going on with Sephora's sales? Because it used to be that Sephora would have like two sales in the year. Actually, it might've even just been one, then it became two. Now they're just doing them all the time. I'm not complaining about this, but I'm like, what's going on? Sephora, are you okay? <laughs> Let's talk bronzer. I only had one. If you've been watching me a while, do you know what it is? I bet you do. It is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. I particularly love the lightest shade. And that's part of why I like it because this shade of a light bronzer, a lot of times they lean orange and this one doesn't. It's a lot more neutral. And so I love the way it makes my skin look a lot bronzer, but I think it looks a little more natural. And it's glowy, it's got this slight shimmer to it. Not enough to, I think, to turn you off if you're not a big fan of shimmer, because it's not super detectable, but I think it just makes my skin look that much healthier, and that's why I love it. It's just stellar. I Obviously, I've broken it, I've hit pan on it, like this is my favorite bronzer. One of my powder favorites, by the way, last year, and honestly, it's a favorite this year too, was the Makeup Forever matte velvet skin powder is that what it's called i uh let my daughter play with it and it cracked i'm like cool so i need to repress it i've been trying to use it like with my brush like dipping it in and it's just going everywhere i'm like oh my gosh so i need to repress it like asap blush wise this was such an easy pick the mac glow play blush specifically in the shade so natural here's what i realized about this i bought the pink one i can't think of what it's called but it's just like they're light pink it barely shows up. Like I cannot get that to show up, but this is the most perfect blush. I love it. So it's kind of a bouncy cream to powder type blush. And if you use a stippling brush and just stipple it in and stipple it onto the cheeks, it looks so pretty. You can build it up, you can tone it down. It doesn't move throughout the day, which for a more cream based blush can be harder to find. And I just, it's so foolproof to me. I think it looks natural and nice on the skin. Since it's not powdery, it doesn't like cling to dry patches. It's perfect. It's the perfect blush. So for highlighter, 
this was hard. I've recently been trying a highlighter that I love, but it's so new, like past month new, that I'm like, I don't feel right mentioning it as my yearly favorite. So the one I use probably more than anything this year anyway is this one. It's from JCat. It's their Pearl Luminizer Loose Powder. This is pretty darn inexpensive on Ulta's site, and you are never gonna run out of this. Like, I have used the crap out of it, and it's still, well, actually, I've used some of it, a decent amount of it, but it's a loose powder highlighter, which sounds intimidating. I felt the same way, but I just dip my brush right into the lid and it just blends so quickly and easily onto the skin. And it's, it just, it kind of imparts like this ethereal glow that you almost can't tell if someone's wearing highlight, but you're like, yeah, but certainly they are. But you're looking, you're like, but I'm not sure. Like it's so, Beautiful, it is so beautiful. This is one I learned about from Taylor Wynn. I, this stuff is the bomb. That's all I have to say about it, it's so good. So for lip balm, the thing I switched to this year was Aquaphor. I just buy these little ones in the travel section and then I can buy a larger Aquaphor. And so when I use one of these up, I'll clean it out, use a larger Aquaphor to just fill it back up. I have like three or four of these floating around and it's amazing. It's just amazing. It's totally healed my lips. I just don't have issues with chat lips anymore. Like this just solved it. And so I'm just saying, if you've tried lots of lip balms and you feel like you're constantly off and on battling it, if you switch to this, come back to me three weeks after starting to try it and you'll be like, oh my gosh, Jessica, you were right. I'm such a convert. And I'll be like, me too. But other lip wise, this was a weird year for lips for the obvious reasons. And so I have a few that I did fall in love with this year that I can't wait to wear more once we don't have to wear masks and things, you know, normalize a bit. Let's first talk about the lipstick I'm wearing. This is from Laura Mercier. It's their Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Click. I just really like it. It's like a pinky red, and that's part of why I like it. I like that I don't need a liner with it because this is thin enough that I can pull it off, you know, just kind of line with it and then shade it in. Definitely more of a matte feel, but it's not crazy uncomfortable. That's the thing that kind of struck me about this formula is I was like, it's a thin layer, it's definitely matte, but it doesn't feel so dry like a liquid lipstick that you're like, ooh, I just feel parched. This is a very nice matte formula that stays in place really well. It transfers a bit, but not a crazy amount as either, and I love it. But really, it's this shade that I love the most. Did I just spit on myself? Another lipstick type product I really loved this year is from NARS. It's their Satin Lip Pencil in Expiry. I need to sharpen this. It's just a comfortable kind of classic lipstick formula. I love this kind of rosy shade, especially for the winter and spring. I feel like it's really pretty. And I would love to eventually try more of their satin lip pencils, but it really is this shade that I just love so much. So wanted to mention it. It is a wood pencil though, so you do need to sharpen it. And it doesn't have like a sharpener that you can pull out the back. Now, another new launch this year that excited me is from Revlon. These are their super lustrous shine lip products. So I have two shades I love, Nude Illuminator and Glossed Up Rose. These are just one of those super wearable kind of colored balmy type lipsticks where there's definitely color to it but it definitely has that more hydrating quality to it. So this is Glossed Up Rose and that one's Nude Illuminator and they're just gorgeous. I love them both. Oh my gosh, and they're so comfortable. Another one kind of in the same vein is, I probably discovered these last year though, but I really like them still. The L'Oreal Colorie Shines, almost the same type of product. This one's in Varnish Rosewood, which is one of my favorite like fall shades. I think maybe the Revlon ones are a little bit glossier looking, but they're, they're all just the bomb and I really, love L'Oreal's packaging. I think that's so pretty. All right, these next two things I'm gonna show you are dirty, so I'm so sorry ahead of time. First up, my favorite brush of the year goes to this EcoTools brush. It just says bronze on it, so I'll have this exact one linked below because I can't think of the exact name they called it. It's kind of a dual fiber brush, this is the best for powder bronzer. Y'all, this plus that L'Oreal bronzer, whew, it just fluffs it on so seamlessly and evenly. It's foolproof. Like, this is the greatest. I feel like for years I've been looking for a decent bronzer brush that kind of diffuses it nicely, and I finally found it in this one. You're welcome ahead of time. I love it so much. My sponge of the year is one that's only $1.50. So I would always recommend buy them. If you discover that you like them, buy like five or six at a time. So you don't have to pay for shipping more than once, but it's their Paw Paw sponge. I like the beveled one that kind of sits, but they also have the traditional teardrop shape one too. 
but $1.55, usually they'll have like free shipping things, but it's just, it gets super big, super soft and like bouncy and floopy and I can't think of the right word for it. So this year I also had a beauty blender and I was like the brand and I hadn't used one in a while. So I was like, I wanna use this again and really compare. I still liked this one more. So there you go. I am doing two more of these Jammy Awards videos this year. I'm doing a lifestyle one where I talk about favorite jewelry and fashion finds, some Amazon things, Target things, but also like things around the house, some of my favorite kitchen items and tech gadgets and tea and it's got it all y'all, books. But then I'm also doing one that is more beauty related. So it's like skincare, bath and body stuff, hair care, those kinds of things. So we will talk about that on my channel in the future. I hope that you'll subscribe and stay tuned for those. As I mentioned earlier, if you wanna catch my recent drugstore dupes video I just put up a few weeks ago, I will link it in the eye and down below because there are some amazing finds to save y'all some money. And is that everything? I think it's everything. I love you all. Thanks for watching to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.